The 10 minute drill. This is a big one. Covered by Universal Roof and Contracting. The difference is universal. On 1010XL. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hit it. Sports concepts and rationalizations coming your way. We call it the 10 minute drill. We do it each and every day. And at the end of the segment, we hand out a wonderful prize pack. Beef, what are we handing out today? Yes, yeah, stay tuned for the end of the 10-minute drill. One lucky Guggen's going to take home some airport parking from our friends at usapark.net and a $50, $50, $50 gift card from Zips Express Car Wash, who is celebrating their new always-free, super-powerful vacuum systems at all seven convenient Jacksonville locations. Fantastic! Fantastic. Woo! Wow! Woo! Let's get clean. Good for the listener. Winner listener. A crisis of character and conscience going on right now. I made some ridiculous little friendly, you know, nothing, $10 wager on the Braves Cardinals series. And part of the wager was the loser has to root for the other guy's team. I'm going to Welsh. <laughs> Period. This, be forewarned. Do it. Friendly wager guy. I'm Welshing on our bet. Oh, dear. Bleep the Cardinals. May you never win another game. Yeah, hard to like the Cardinals if you're a Braves fan. Whatever. It was so just quickly. You don't over. even have to have the Braves fan thing. It's it just hard to like the over. Cardinals. I try to tell you about Fulton Avid. You can't trust him. The guy's got a 10 cent head. Was I right? Did I say he was a mental midget? Was that me and you, B, for me and him? Huh? We're the same person. Hey, the guy's <laughs> a mental midget. Falls apart. Get the bases loaded. Let's just cry, call mommy, and go home. Oh, my God, Freddie Freeman. Oh, I love you. You're a great Brave. You lost the series. Oof. Yeah, he did. Never got a hit with anybody in scoring position. That's what I can love about the Washington Nationals. You know what their stars did? They freaking starred. When they're out of the game, Rendon hits a homer. Soto gets a double. They go back-to-back homers. They double again later. They play like they're supposed to. They don't shrivel up like a Georgia you know, peach four weeks past harvest and fall down and wither and die. Go Nats. That's what I'll do. Go Nats. <laughs> I really, I've been waiting to see. I was watching the Dodgers Nats game last night. It was like that was a good game. Twelve thirty at night. Yeah, didn't quite make it that far. And uh, I, I, I'm watching in disbelief. A couple things. One, I, I see um, manager Dave Roberts bringing Kershaw. Well, he got a stri- strikeout, which was big on a lefty, and that should have been it for him. But he trotted him back out. When, to when start- did he last pitch? Hick? What what day? They're on the same. Oh, he's he, did he pitched game, like Saturday. No, he pitched game two. So it was Bueller what? pitched game one. He pitched game two. Yeah. Yeah. So that was Friday, which they lost, by the way. So he has enough. I mean, that's what. No, I know, but I, just he not, he's got not good, his role. Yeah, no, and not against Rendon and Soto, and bang bang home runs game tied. Then he brings in my Kenton Maeda, mm-hmm. and he was terrific. And then I. I look up and I see um, the Kelly guy from the Red Sox who had not been very good this year. And I'm thinking, this is do or die. Why are you pitching him? And he left him in. And he left him in to load him up. And he left him in to hit Howie Kendrick, uh, West Nassau, by the way. Yeah. Hit a grand slam home run. Probably and that's it. They're probably, done. Probably haven't talked about Howie Kendrick enough. No. That's another local. We've had some very, you know, in, fruitful here when it comes to producing major league talent and talent that's making impacts in postseasons with Brett Myers or or, or Daniel Murphy, uh, Howie Kendrick, and I don't mean to leave anyone out. Uh, Kershaw. Kershaw's is, not good in the postseason. Has a bad history of postseason starts. Did have a career 198 out, ERA out of the bullpen. Yeah, he had. He One had, batter that makes sense. Struck out Eaton. Place went crazy. Great spot. But then he came back in the eighth, even though the nearly unhittable Kenta Maeda was warm and ready. Why would they do that? He came back out and lasted five minutes. He threw three pitches, and two of them were hitting to the... Back-to-back homers. Yes. Rendon. And Soto. And Soto. And the game's tied. Kershaw said later, I had one job to do, get three outs. Got one out, didn't get the other two. Went over the fence, cost us the game right there. Kershaw walked off the field to boo, sat by himself on an otherwise empty dugout bench while Maeda struck out the side. I let the guys down in the clubhouse. That's the hardest part of the year. Um, It's a terrible feeling. Only the second time in his career, Kershaw has allowed home runs on consecutive pitches. The other time was in the playoffs. 4-4-3 postseason ERA compared to a 2-4-4 regular season ERA. Um, everything people say is true right now about the postseason. I understand that. Nothing I could do. Terrible feeling it really is. So, um, 
Oh. Point one finger at Kershaw, but point the other at Roberts, says the LA Times. I felt good about Clayton right there. I like Clayton. We had Clayton ready for whatever today. I'll take Clayton any day in that situation. Yeah, I'm not sure that's the case anymore. That's the only thing I thought. That's no, he got the out, and there's no reason to. to although, you know, I mean, we credit the Nats for sticking with Scherzer. It's yeah. easy when the ace gets bombed. Kelly they, got the side in the ninth and rested closer. Kenley Jansen was in the bullpen, yet Kelly started the tenth. He walked Eaton and gave up a double to Rendon. So now you got second and third. They intentionally walked Soto to get to Kendrick, yet he left him in there to pitch to Kendrick, who crushed the ball over the center field fence. Grand slam. I like Joe in that spot. I really did. <laughs> likes them all in every spot, huh? I need to go play for Dave Roberts. He likes you where you're at. Oh, man. If the blame falls on me, I have no problem with it, Roberts said. If the blame will fall on him, absolutely. That's how it will work after another unfathomable ending to another unreal season. Again, these are the L.A. Dodgers who have been chasing a World Series since when? 1988? 88. And another year has gone by. They have won six straight division titles. Is that correct? I believe it's six straight division titles. I think there's seven straight postseasons without winning now. And yet they lose to the uh, Washington Nats in the divisional series. Didn't even make it to the league championship series. And I don't care what anybody says. If you're the St. Louis Cardinals, you're cheering wildly. You'd much rather face the Nats than face. The, the Cardinals won't beat the Nats. They pro- the Cardinals aren't th- are probably the worst yeah, team. Yeah, they should. Of- with the, if the Braves have a complete choke job, they should have never lost to the, no, to the Nats. No. I mean, to the, to the Cardinals. They should have won every game. They should have won game one. They blew it. They should have won game four. They blew it. And quite frankly, Freddie Freeman, feel free to deal with a routine oh. grounder and get a double play. Uh-huh. Let's get out of the inning one nothing, and see what happens. But, no, it's not enough. You leave the bases loaded the entire series. You got to boot one right to you. Oof. Yeah, oof. Uh, now I've been called out by the Welsh who's apparently listening. Yes. He says he wants his money, and you will root for the Cardinals. He said, I know you're a man of your word. You should tell your <laughs> listeners you will root for the Cardinals. <laughs> it's a bad first, one. first, he said, the jersey is on the way to the studio. Go Cards. Yeah. At which point, I said, no one said anything about jerseys. I like that. And um, <sighs> I like that. I, I told you it was a crisis of character and conscience. I did. I didn't, play, I didn't minimize this. I will make my decision. What, about rooting for the Cardinals? Uh, just about maybe not rooting against Are you them. doing like a, 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 a bit on the radio each after each game and reporting on that? Well, my, or, bits, how, how my, do, my mean, bits aren't funny or good. How so. does he expect you to root for the Cardinals? He I knows, guess just kind of hope they win, I guess. I don't know. No, I'm not uh, pulling off some shit. He's just no, going to trust. There's no yeah. chance that you're rooting for the Cardinals. Well, I don't know what to tell you. I'm just saying that was part of the bet that I apparently agreed to. <laughs> yeah, so I, yeah, I don't know. I'm not, not sure where I'm going to go. I really, to be honest with you, uh, the team's left. I would root for the Rays, and the rest of them can all go straight to hockey sticks. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Get on a jet train and uh-huh. right down the portal. Maybe right down to the lake of fire. Maybe not, fire them into the sun. I, no, I'd like to send them to the lake. Beef likes to fire them into the sun. He, he sends, sent Tony Kemp he, into the sun. He recently. sends them up, buddy. I like to shoot them straight down the portal into the lake of fire. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, adult swim. Get in. We're doing laps. What happened in the? Uh, uh, did you? Th- you didn't throw your phone. I noticed. I said you were watching the game on your phone yet last no, night. I was. I, 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 honestly, I don't like sitting hearing all the stuff. I am so. I'm. My. I got my skin's just thick, dude. I'm a rhinoceros when it comes to Atlanta sports. Did you see the Super Bowl a couple of years ago? That's- Have you watched any of the last ten appearances by the Braves in the postseason? Were you paying attention from '96 to '05 when we literally set a major league record for consecutive postseason appearances without a World Series? Well, that's good because our. I, I wanted to get your opinion on this too. So it's not. It's disappointing, but it's not unexpected. I. I tried to tell everyone well, hang that on. Braves it's- would lose. Well. Listen, huh? you you told us after the first game how the series was going to go, and it did not go that way. So you were back in position. What? Did, oh, that we they, would lose game two? They ra- no, you, you they lost the series. How could I have been wrong? Because you explained how exactly how it was going to go, and oh, it didn't go anywhere oh. like that. Well, yeah, well, I think it did, but anyway. <laughs> the only difference was they, they were able to beat Flaherty the first time, uh-huh. and then the second time showed their true colors. And um, I really what thought they were going to do this, in which case I was going to absolutely like ban them from baseball. I was sure these idiots would go score eight runs and we lose thirteen to eight, and that would make it worse. Right. So. Well, our drill poll question of the day presented <clears throat> by Lockett Law, DUI, and Criminal Defense, and Lee Lockett's in a glass case of emotion. His Dodgers are out eight five eight nine eight one eight. In honor of uh, Jeff Prosser, uh, worst Atlanta sports moment ever was it the Braves, the Super Bowl, 
uh, you wouldn't vote for this, but Georgia losing the Natty to Bama or the 60-win Hawks getting LeBron. Okay, now what now? What, I can, What's the worst Atlanta sports the, moment ever? I mean, this is like mm-hmm. 100 to 0, dude. Okay, it's a the Falcons. Falcons blew a 28 to 3 Super Bowl. So the lead. 10 first inning runs. That's got 18%. The Falcons has 76%. Yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a, and the Hawks, as expected, have 0%. Yeah, there's been worse Hawks <laughs> moments than that. Yeah. I'm getting a text from uh, Poker Room people or tweets that say uh, he was in a very sour mood tonight. I at, was. At the card room. At the beginning. I was fine. Very I, sour. What, during the 10 run first, it yeah. affected me a little bit, but I, uh-huh. I got uh-huh. over it. You did? I appreciate the table buddies. I mean, I wish I had friends like that on the radio because they were all very supportive. And they were. They tried to, including a Mets fan who rightly bowed at the altar of the best team in the East and appreciated what we had done this year. Well, who's the, isn't the, aren't the Nats the best team in the East now? No, we won the division. 162 <laughs> doesn't lie. We're at 167 now. They, it lies. They slayed 167's the, a liar. They slayed the Dodgers. Well, that's fine. They didn't slay us. We played them a bunch when it yeah. mattered, and they yeah. never beat us, but apparently winning the division doesn't do much. You would have got the Nats and huh? the LCS then, and you probably would have went to the World Oof, Series. Imagine if we lost to them. That'd be worse. That's how you manage as an Atlanta Sports fan, which loss will be less painful? Uh-huh. I guess losing in round one to the Cardinals is less painful than choking against the Nats in the LCS. Is it better to have 10 straight postseason losses in 18 years or 10 straight postseason losses in 80 years? 80? Yeah, that was the Cubs spread it out over I'd 80. I'd rather have it in 10. I'd rather keep going to the playoffs. I'd watch my team five more times than all uh-huh. the losers who couldn't make the playoffs. Did. I'm with you. I'd rather punch the ticket. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. No, go and tell you, try. By the way, they'll be back in the playoffs next year. Uh-huh. I'll be wondering why we still don't have any pitching. Uh-huh. And this next year, it'll be, hmm, who's going to get us next year? Probably time. We've kind of gone through them all, man. Uh, yeah, we've not we many go, more to get. It's probably time for the Brewers to get. It's not sure we've ever lost to the Brewers. The Brewers so haven't got you. It's been 16 yeah. years since we got you, so we might be due. I think we beat you for some reason. You are like us, terribly inefficient when it comes to winning. Mm. Right? I mean, that's fair. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> Doc Kevin Murphy's next. It's a custom tree search since Thursday, and I'm done. Caller number three. Uh, right now, can it, only Braves fans only six four one ten ten. We'll try to brighten Chop up your on. day. Chop on next. <laughs> 